All right, so here it is. Here's my A3 block. Here's the AA block I just picked up, which was only 375 <clears throat> head, manifold, block, crank. Everything came with it. It was low compression. Um, decided to put the crank in my A3 block because I'm not spending that money on a transmission just so I could throw that in that Accord 07 six speed and uh, I just measured everything on her. The only problem that it's gonna have is this snout right here. It's a little bit short. I believe P2R makes a spacer for it. Which kinda looks like probably like this. I might just gonna have to use that on it or order one from P2R which is like 30 bucks or some 40 bucks. Here's my 88 rods. Everything looks really good when I bought it. The rods are good, the pistons are shit, but I'm not using those. Problem a buddy ran into was the A8 head had a 36 millimeter intake valve. The A3 has a 35, which it's in here down at the bottom. But I'm just gonna shave it down a little bit just so it clears the valve. This over here is a perfectly fine A3 crank that I pulled out of the A3. You see the snout is let me grab my hopefully I can find it somewhere over here. Here it is. There's that. Let me see. So this is the A8. Hopefully I can get this in here. I probably won't be able to get this in there, but since I already torqued it down, bitch, I'm not gonna It's it's a little bit smaller than the A3. Couple millimeters, but like I said, I'll just put a spacer on it. It's not that bad. People don't give out that much information. You know, you run into all these guys that always give you yeah, it works, it fit perfectly, blah, 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 whoop de whoop I decided to pick up an A8 block because I could put this in here in my A3 block due to add a J37 crank. I was trying to put it in here, and what happened was it was an A4 crank. It didn't want to clear the cam cap, I mean the main cap, and the block. So to be able to do that, I have to shave the A4 crank and balanced it to put it in here. And the closest place around here that machine shop tells me to send it to is Redding, California, which I'm not going <clears> to <throat> spend all that time going up there when I could just pick up an A8 block and throw the crank in there and have some fun with it for now. As you can see, it only sticks out that much. Let me see if I can clear this. It's on my phone, so. It comes out. Just gonna torque these this down. Um, yeah, I really want to try to do the J36, but it didn't work. So I got all A4 crank rods just sent right now. Had to buy a brand new single rod, which was like 170 bucks for a a, uh, a J37, but turns out it didn't work. So now I picked up an A8. Throw this in here so I can throw it in my cord, and hopefully I'll keep you guys updated on how it'll go. And uh, if I run into any problems again, I'll let everybody know about this. So J thirty five A eight crank rod into a J thirty two A three block. little bit of backyard shit back here but you know garage shit but oh well 
Let's see how it turns out. If it blows up, we'll just start it all over again. This is going to be the first one. So I don't really give a shit if it does blow up, you know, as long as I have some fun in it. That's all it is. Um, there's the A8 head, the J32 A3 heads. Let's see, what was I? Yeah, so keep everybody updated on this, see how it goes. Hopefully I should get this running in a couple weeks if I have time to work on it. And uh, hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll see you guys on the next video.